Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I thought I would do this on video in case anybody's interested um, because this goes further than what I'm going to tell you, if that makes sense. I love watching um, Let's Paint. And it's Let's Paint with Plaid. I share it all the time in my group and on my Facebook. It's every Thursday at noon. I love it. I'm going to say it. <clears throat> the past few paintings that they have done have been on a linen canvas. Okay. And I don't have a linen canvas and nor do I feel like going out and getting one. Let's be honest. So I was sitting here and I had started, I had tried the painting from last week and I just wasn't liking it because I was doing it and it, I don't know, it just didn't look the same to me. And I'm again, this week he's doing it with um, Andy is his name. He's doing it with another linen canvas. No big deal. Um, he has them. That's what he's using. That's fantastic. You don't have to use one. You can just do it on a piece of paper, canvas, whatever. But then I was sitting here and something that I have here all the time is cheesecloth. I use cheesecloth to add texture to paintings. I use it when I do clay. I use, I, I use it for a lot of re, a lot of things and I have a bunch of it, right? I have like two more things of this. So I was like, why can't I take my Mod Podge mat <clears throat> or you can use, um, Mod Podge ultra, uh, you can use Mod Podge fabric would work, whatever, you know, white school, it doesn't matter. And then why can't I take <laughs> and just glue this and see if I get the same thing. So that's what we're going to do together today. So I'm going to kind of spread it out enough that I have, you know, a little overshot a little bit of the canvas because I'll save all these pieces because I'm just a freak like that. And then I'm like one day cleaning and I'm like, oh my God, this stuff I have, these little pieces, but I like to use them when I make paper or um, just little pieces of everything, which I'm going to be making paper soon because... I have a lot of things to add to some paper. Okay. And I'm making, um, what's it called? Uh, art journals and I like putting extra things. Okay. So anyway, so it's not relevant. I have this, so I'm going to take my canvas and I'm going to take some of my mom. Am I going to take a, oh girl, I thought I, thought I glued that shut. And I want to thank everybody who came to my live stream yesterday. I'm not even going to try to name names because I will forget. Um, you guys are fantastic. And I know so many of you write me and say, can you do it, you know, at night when I'm home or different times because everybody's different around here. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. But I do like doing it during the day when I'm sitting here and I'm at my best. <laughs> and you're thinking, girl, that's your best. You better get up and go. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm going to take my cheesecloth. I don't know what, why it smells like a candle, but it does. Lord knows with me. Okay. All right, Kel. Come on, girl. Let's get yourself together. I'm, I'm just fighting with it. Okay. I want to make sure I get it at the top. So I'm going to lay this. Oh, my God. I'm so excited because if this works, I swear. I swear I'm going to do all the paintings that he uses with this. Now I'm going to move this over this way. So shway. So, um, that's ridiculous. I just did that, but there we go. That way that I have more over on this side to cut and then I'm going to push it and push it real good. You know, the song that I'm not allowed to sing anymore. So that's going to be right there. And then I'm going to lift it up and put the rest of the glue. That or I sit, all, all I do all day is sit here and sing to my dog. I've got my tight pants on. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to take my brush. And I don't want it to be so, um, I don't want it to be bumpy or there we go. You just got to pull it tight. 
and I don't have any more glue on my brush, I, I want to get those bubbles out or, you know, the big parts, which to me, I love texture. So if there's a bubble or two, it's just going to be what it is, but I'm going to try not to do a bubble. <laughs> going to try to get those bad boys out. Which then causes other bubbles. Sorry. There we go. There we go. Girl, you're doing it. Okay. Oh, my. I'm almost cursed. Okay. All right. There we go. Uh, you really don't want to play with it too much, obviously, as you can see, I'm fighting with it. I might even, depending, I might take my Mod Podge spray, but it looks like it should be okay. Because also, once the paint gets on it, that'll help it here. So, that is where this is right now. Hard for you to see, I know, and I am sorry. Because, um, you know, it's white on white. But you'll see, what I'll do is when I do the background, I won't paint the whole thing. Um, I'll come back and show you. So, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll be back. Shake of a lamb's tail, and then I will show you how it looks. Okay, so it's dry, and I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can. Come on. Can you see that texture? Yeah. So now we have some texture. Now. I'm going to add and do the background like Andy did, but this is great if you're doing a mixed media page, ATC card, art journal page, um, if I already said that, mixed media, canvas, whatever, uh, a piece of it, a bit, whatever. This is fantastic uh, for texture. I, I love doing this on trees. So I will draw and paint trees and then I will put that on there. I'll do a video showing you what I like to do. But the best part about this is you can get it at a dollar store for a dollar. So, or Amazon or wherever, grocery store. But yeah, Amazon uh, has it. They all have it. But so does um, the dollar stall, dollar tree. So I'm taking a little bit of burnt umber and a ploop of black. Of black. I'm going to mix that together. Just like that. And I don't know if he used blending medium or whatever blending gel. I just like to, it's a little thick for me. Um, so I like it to be a little thinner, but you mix it with whatever you want, glazing media, you know, whatever look you're going for. So I just want to be able to wipe some of it off, but I'm going to take it. You can see I still have water here, so I'll just add that in. Got it. It's a little dark, but maybe I'll add a little bit more brown. But you see that fantastic texture? I want it a little lighter. A little lighter with a little bit more brown. Ploopy brown. That's burnt umber, by the way. Not ploopy brown. And I'm not mad that I got it darker than my, you know, it doesn't matter. See, it's paint over it. I'm just so thrilled I have the texture that, look at that. I like going both ways because you want to make sure that you pick up that texture. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet this and you're going to see why in a second. Okay. Maybe I'll go in with my like harder, a little bit harder brush. Yeah. And when you wet it, 
you can see what happens. And I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Come on. I know I have to clean my desk. I'm a mess. I know. I've been sitting here painting <clears throat> all day and playing and watching the live stream. I got to it late today. I was so upset with myself, but I got a couple things done, so. Yeah. And you see... And I like the variation of this, um, lighter and dark, but I'll take a little bit more over here. And again, just go over until you're happy with it. I, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, if you ask my husband, he'll say, you're never happy. That, that's just a joke. It's just, a, I mean, no, he does say it, but I mean, you know. We won't get into the whole husband, husband thing. <laughs> okay. And I'm pushing hard. I mean, this is dry. So I can push hard. I'm just scraping up that goodness. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and if I don't, um, you know, if I want it to be browner or whatever, then I will add more. But for now, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy. Not going to lie. I wish I would have just remembered this days ago when I started my one painting and ended up painting over it because I was so upset with myself. Okay. And this doesn't matter. Like it, whatever way you want to go, it just adds some more color. Oh, I love the variation. So then I'll dry this a little. You know what else you can do? Let me show you real quick. You can, you know, if you want to, or you could put a piece of paper on it. This turned out to be way more than you guys wanted, probably. But, oh, I love this. I'm so happy. If you put a piece of paper on it, you know, well, it's way. I'm going to put up. Look at that. We got a background for something else. Come on. Say what? Say yes. Say there. I mean, look how cool. I mean, so, you know, I love a two fur. I love a three fur. I love a four fur. Uh, but this is, I mean, right? Am I right? Okay. That's all. You said the sales, right? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. I don't know why it took me forever to even think about it. And what I love is, now, mind you, his is, you know, I mean, it's not completely looks the same as his, but it has the texture, which that's what I love. You guys know I'm a texture fiend. But you can see. Almost, you know, it's like fabric now because it was really fabric. So now when I go to paint on it, um, when I do his painting, I have somewhat of a, 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 a texture because what I loved in him painting. And like I said, I might even, I don't know if I'll put more. I'm kind of happy with this. Anyway, I got to get out of my head. Um, when he was painting, what I loved was like when he would go and do the flower or whatever, the the way the brush and the paint went across on that texture which is like so my jam and uh i was so thrilled so i'm gonna completely let this dry like overnight probably before i paint on it uh i'm sure when i'm done i will post it on my facebook and whatnot but this is really great if you don't have um you know a textured canvas now you have cheesecloth sitting around or you know what have something similar you can put it on and make your own so just a little tip from me to you and check out your dollar store because that's where i got that so as always please be kind to each other you never know about somebody else is fighting and uh i will put the plaid face uh, let's paint plaid facebook page down below if you're interested the you know you don't get spammed it's not it's just the best group of people supporting each other and one tuesday and one tuesday night a month 
they do a paint along and then every Thursday at noon, Andy does um, a paint along and it's, he just has a variation. I love him because, and people will probably say, uh, but um, I love him because his, his paintings to me are very moody and expression and, and just atmospheric. And I don't know, some of them, not all of them. He has beautiful lemons and limes and the whole thing, but he has beautiful lemons and limes. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like some of his paintings really like speak to me on, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I will put it down there. If you're interested, go check it out. Cause it is the best group. It's the best group to watch live on a Thursday at noon. Um, and of course, you know, if you're not already, please subscribe to moi. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you guys so very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.